What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today we're back in Rise of Civilizations hanging out at City Hall Level 6. I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that you're going to want to do at City Hall Level 6. Things you're going to want to build and then just have some fun. Let's go take a look. So City Hall Level 6, the higher you go... The more stuff you get, the more fun you have, and the more you get attacked. I've been attacked a bunch of times, guys, and I'm going to show you that log, and it is not pretty. I did not do a nice job defending whatsoever, but first, before we get into any of that, I want to thank you all for coming down to the channel and tell you that if you want to see more um, of Rise of Civilizations, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel because I plan to bring you it on the regular. So come on, subscribe and be here with me on that journey. Now, as you can see, my hammer over there, it has that red dot with the number two. That means I could build two more buildings, one of them being a farm. Let's build that farm right now. And that farm is gonna go right over here. As you can see, I redid my layout here a little bit. The farm is going in. And because of my uh, need for things to be perfect, I'm gonna actually put the farm next to the other farm. If I can do so, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Everything else that I have should be just about maxed right now for this for this level. So um, pretty soon we'll be going up to the next level after I get all of these things placed and all the upgrades completed. Next, we have to build this courier station, a resting place for traveling merchants and supply wagons. So we don't exactly know what this does just yet, but we are going to really soon. Let's drop it, and we'll, we'll, yeah, well, that looks like a good spot for it right there. I like the way that looks. We're going to drop it right there, and in three seconds, it will be complete, and we build, will be ready to go. Mer merchants arrived in the sea. Let's see what this is. Oh, so I could purchase things. I could purchase things. That's pretty cool. Uh, always nice to have a way to buy more things in game, right? Who doesn't love that kind of stuff? So what I'm going to do is train up some more stuff. I, I try and always keep these things training. I jump in the game throughout the day, try and fight for some service at my job because if you guys don't know, I have the worst internet service at my job. It's just awful. I could barely get on the game. But I do sometimes sneak it in there and I'm able to go find some, some stuff, get some things going, go get some loot, and maybe even a raid or two. So what we have right now is my wall. Check out my wall. It says repair. It says repair because it's been beaten down consistently by the enemies seeing that I'm a vulnerable target and just beating on me. So what we have to do to repair the wall is go over to the wall, click on the right, and it says to repair. And as you can see, under repair, it does a little bit each time. It takes a half an hour now to cool down. So it takes a while to repair your wall. Don't think you're going to get that done really quickly. Now something else I want to do is I want to send out my explorers. I try and always send them out to get more view and get me deeper into the map. We're going to explore and send head back home and I seem to have another explorer these days we're gonna send him out as well send and back to the map so my explorers are out they're exploring this vast land and notice I can see more and more I've been sending them out often and it, as you can see the map is pretty open now you can see what's going on let's come over here back to my uh, my little village we're gonna enter there you go to my city I'm sorry and um, now it's time for me to upgrade some stuff. So let's upgrade these these crops right here. Oh, it takes 15 seconds for this farm to get itself upgraded, which is nice. But I also have something I can check out under here. The commander, which you can't see because it's behind my body. I'm sorry. But what do we have right here for commander? I could summon her. Don't know what that means. Let's do it. Hmm. Things are looking weird on my screen for some reason. I'm not sure what that is. We're going to confirm that summons of her. So she summons and uh, yeah, we could probably use her for something. Haven't used her yet, but she's looking pretty sweet and uh, that should be fun as the game progresses. So we're going to collect some corn. There we go. We're going to collect some wood. There we go. And I want to also do some upgrading, but as you can see, I currently have an upgrade happening. And uh, that is my masonry is being upgraded right now. For another 25 seconds, actually, then I can get another upgrade going. Let's look for a battle right now. If we have any things that we could do, any challenges. Let's actually claim all of these rewards. I'm telling you guys, half of this game is just claiming rewards, getting loot. There's so much to grab while you play the game. So if you like rewards, wow, 
this game is definitely for you. I've probably claimed about 100 rewards today, to be honest with you. And we're going to have some chests to uh, take a look at as well. If Oh, let's get this research going again on another section. We're going to research and we'll get to our, our hand axe. We'll research that, taking 30 minutes. We're going to claim two more rewards for doing just that. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about right there, guys. Now, I want to know Barbarian Conquest. Defeat level one barbarians three times. Well, I guess I'll search them, but that should be easy because I will attack them. Let's go in with my big boy right here. He's my main my main hero. We're going to go in and attack these guys. They should be really simple. I really out-level them big time, but we want to get those rewards. So this is going to be over in literally no time. That was nothing. I don't even know if I took any damage whatsoever. And we're going to see right here. We're going to claim that reward. And we're just going to, you know, you could, you could go through this stuff. I'm not going to consistently do it, but you can. Looking at my mail, it looks like we have some type of a report, an exploration report. It looks like they found a village, and when you find these, there's rewards waiting for you. Well, would you look at that? More rewards, guys. We're going to claim that reward. It's a welcome slinger. Thank you very much. Then we're going to head back to our home base. We're going to look over here. System Strategic Reserve. We're going to claim that supply box as well. And while I'm here, I'm going to show you the reports. The reports are amazing. They're detailed. They give you the stats. And here is a report of me being defeated. Let me move out of the way here so you can see a little bit more of it. But as you can see, this is the attack that was done on my base. The stats from my opponent are here. It shows you their hero level, the troops that they brought in. They brought in 20,000 troops, and my troops, there were only under 8,000 to defend. So that really, that really was not fair. But as you can see, I was defeated. My wall was beaten up, and um, well... It was GG at the end of the day. So that you have all these reports that can kind of walk you through that. But, um, you know, that's really all we have here at City Hall Level 6. It's just continuously grinding through. If you like grinding, this is a great game. You're consistently sending your troops out to farm. You're consistently healing your troops. You're consistently sending them out for battle. Let's get a better battle going on right here. Let's go on the map, and we're going to look for level five, 5 barbarians. That's a lot closer to my level. Let's search it up, and we have some right here. We're going to attack these guys. They're close to home. We're going to use our big boy right here, and we're going to see this battle. As you can see, I got my battle rams there. I got my troops. I got my archers. I got everything ready to roll. They're going in, and uh, it looks like I am dealing a lot more damage than I'm receiving, which is pretty darn sweet. Again, I smashed them so quickly right there. And the, uh, the victory is here. The system, we're going to claim that as well. See? See what I'm saying right here, guys? So many rewards. And we have these troops ready to go. So again, because they are done, I'm going to get more going. Actually, let's upgrade this right here. Let's upgrade this barracks so that I can get, I can get higher level troops. It's going to take 44 minutes, so that'll, uh, that'll go as it goes. And, um, and then we'll be good. The ram, that's still that's still being trained up. The explorers are back. Recruits are back. Let's heal some, some guys up right here from that easy battle we just had right there. We're going to claim more rewards. And as you're seeing, guys, I'm kind of just going through the game, giving you examples of how it works and what it looks like. Troops are ready to go. And where do we have the... I want to go and find... Not the shop. No, it's the storehouse. That's where I store all of my loot. Where is the... I want to find the spot where I go to recruit. It's recruiting. It's weird because it says recruiting, yet when you go there, it's for chests. So not exactly what you would expect. But as you can see, I have five silver keys and two golden keys. And of course, I'm going to open my chest with you here in the video. So let's get to that right now. We're going to open up the five silver chests. What are we going to grab? Hey there. Want to play a game? Ooh, what is this? Confirm. You already have this commander. Okay, I already have her. I'm gonna open another one. Come on. I am Lancelot du Lac, Knight of the Round Table. Okay, so the sculpture I'll get ten times will be received rather than getting Lancelot because I already have Lancelot. Oh yeah, Marius is here. A brand new hero from Rome. I'll take him. That's pretty great. You know, I wasn't expecting to get any heroes out of the silver chest, but that's three right there. 
pretty darn sweet. Let's open up another one. Nothing there. Well, nothing insane right there. We're going to open another. And the last one right here. Boom. That's it. Confirm all of those rewards. Now I can open up two of the golden ones, which are your hefty big boy chests that you guys are checking out right here. So let's open up the first one and see what we're going to get. And we got some wood. Tomb of Knowledge. We have a sculpture and we have a speed up. We're going to open up one more. Give me something good. Actually, the, the silver chests were better than me today, guys. It's pretty crazy stuff. But there you go. We got some loot. We're going to confirm it right there. We're going to get out of here. And we're going to send our... We're going to collect right here, actually. First of all, my commander. You can see the nuke. So I have Lancelot. I am Lancelot Dulac. Nice we have you, the right? Markswoman. Yeah. And this is the new guy we just I'll picked up right here. So Marius. So uh, we have some upgrades we could do. Hey and um, the skills itself. What are these skills? So she has the raid. is her active skill. Requirements 1,000. Immediately deals massive damage. Damage factor 50 to the target. So that upgrade will show it'll get that, that damage to 60, 70, 80, and 100. This right here, it's a passive skill. Increases the attack archer units by 1%. So that'll make the archers in the attack stronger. We have the poison arrow. Increases damage of the barbarians by 2%. And we have the agility passive skill. Increases defensive archer units by 1%. Archer. Let's go with this one right here. Let's... Or should we do this? I'm going to do this one right here. We're going to upgrade that. Upgrade successful level 1 to level 2. Let's go. And we're going to also see what we could do for some of the other heroes like Lancelot right here. His skills. The first one. Lancelot wields as a sharp sword and deals massive damage to a single target. Damage 200. Direct damage for 200. Upgrading it gets a 3, 4, 5, and then 6. His Forbidden Love passive skill when attacked, Lancelot has 10% chance to reduce all damage taken by 10% in the next turn. Okay, that's not bad. It's a nice defensive skill. We have the Knights of the Round Table increases cavalry units. Marching speed increases the attack. I don't want to worry about speed stuff because I hear that in late game speed is not as big a deal. And we have the uh, Battle of Sorrow. When Lancelot has 50% or less of his units, increases all damage by 2%. No, that's assuming I'm going to go into battles and lose them, and I don't want to assume that ever. So we're going to go, and um, I'm, going to, I'm going to just upgrade his Quarrel, his active skill. I'm going to upgrade that to level 2 and be done with it. So maybe I'll do a video on all the heroes and all their skills. I could actually look at them all and look at all their skills, can't I? That's, a, that's going to be a video that's going to be coming soon, guys. So right now, we're about at it. Why don't we check out these rewards over here? We're going to claim some of that. We're going to claim the hero returns. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I don't want to do that. I, I'm doing something I don't want to do. Whoops. And that's okay, though. We're fine. And we'll claim these rewards because this is basically a reward claiming game. We have a chest we can open right here. What's inside? We got a silver key. We'll save that one for the next episode. Basic action point recovery. That's something new I haven't really seen yet before the game. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. Have you been playing this game? Have you downloaded it? And if you did, do you like it? I will tell you this. This is not a, a duplicate Clash of Clans game. I've seen some people in my comments say this is just a different version of Clash of Clans. But to be honest with you guys, it's not. It's very different. Yeah, maybe the village looks a little bit like Clash, I guess. A tiny bit. But it's definitely not Clash of Clans. So different. You guys know I love Clash of Clans. I mean, I put videos out for it every day. But this is different. And it gives me something else I can do. You know what? Why don't we go over to the expedition? If you didn't see my videos yesterday, I did a video on the expeditions. Let's see if I can do any good on this one right here. Let's accept the challenge. I have to eliminate all enemies, complete the mission in 60 seconds, and all commanders survive. Those are the enemies, commanders. I'm going to add a commander of my own, and that's going to be... We'll add Lancelot. And we're going to start off, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. I'm going to start. We're going after these guys first. March. We want to go take them out. And these guys are going to go here. March. We have two. Oh, no, that didn't. 
Guinevere. Go! Why am I? Why is my other squad not going? What are your orders, my liege? Schnell, der Feind darf sich nicht vermehren. Kiss me, Guinevere. All right, I did something wrong, and I don't know what it is because my other squad is just kind of hanging out there, doing nothing. Oh boy, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm getting slaughtered right here, guys. Go attack. Oh, well, that was not expected. I came, I saw, I conquered, but from what I was seeing, it looked like I was getting my butt handed to me. But it looks like, uh, looks like I'm, I'm just a, bo a boss at this game. I guess I know exactly what I'm doing. I guess I will pretend that I do, because in reality, I'm just learning with you guys. From the looks of things, I need more corn, so what I'm gonna do is find a cornfield over here. There's one nice, and I'm gonna gather. I'm gonna get my troops, and I'm gonna send her out to gather that corn, go back home, and as you can see, nothing needs to be done right now. Can I repair a little bit more? Nope, 17 more minutes left on this repair, and then I can repair my, my, uh, what is this called? My wall, again because the wall was beaten down pretty bad today guys but that's been it i hope you enjoyed the video just a little bit of fun showing you guys what we were able to drop in today which was the courier station and of course another farm this was basically the highlight of today's video hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel like i said earlier and throw a thumbs up just to show support to me and the channel and of course to rise of civilizations guys if you want to hang out with me i did create a rise of civilizations room in my server we, we could talk all about this game still looking for a very good level clan that i could join and highlight from time to time as well and lastly you could find me on twitter at echo through me links are all in the description below and on top of that I'm currently running a giveaway with both Galadon and Klaus, and that giveaway is for over $100 via our Gleam account. The link is in the description to that. All you have to do is go to the link. It's going to prompt you to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our channels, and when you do, those are considered entries to the giveaways. So go ahead over and do that, and... Um, be in the winning for over $100 in prizes, first, second, and third place prizes will be awarded. Good luck to all of you, and I'll see all of you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.